அங்கும் லங்கையதே கிரீம் ஸ்ரீ குருன் தினத்தாலினம் ஸ்ரீ சைத்தன்யீஸ்வரம் Today we are observing Srila Prabhupada Vyasa Puja. Srila Prabhupada, he took his instructions of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and spread and spread this krishna conscious movement around the world so as the founder acharya of iskon he has a special relationship with every devotee of iskon Ultimately, every devotee became a devotee, became a devotee because of the hours of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. Because of the mercy of A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. And as such, we observe it all. Daily Guru Puja. As such, we observe daily Guru Puja and all our service we offer to Radha Madhav and all our services we offer to Radha Madhav to Pancha Tattva etc. Guru Maha Prabhupada and Guru Parampara Through Srila Prabhupada and Guru Parampara In the year 1989 I wrote a Vyasa Puja homage for Srila Prabhupada whose message is more urgent than ever especially for devotees who are not direct disciples of our founder Acharya to describe Srila Prabhupada's foundation relationship with all his followers I quoted Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakura's Harinam Chintamani. Here's my favorite part from that 1989 homage. In the Harinam Chintamani, His Divine Grace Bhakti Vinod Thakur has explained the position of a succession's Adi Guru or Founder Acharya in relation to to that succession although iskon is a branch of an older disciplic succession since shrila prabhupad is the adi guru or founder acharya of this specific branch and the empowered representative of sri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu it is appropriate for those devotees of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu following shila prabhupad to offer him the respect loyalty and devotion due an original guru of a succession as explained below the honor shila prabhupad's followers show him should be unique in comparison to that shown to other gurus of the disciplic succession from Harinam Chintamani chapter 6 verses 22 and 23 we learn the following in the disciplic succession of vaishnavas the previous acharyas are established respectfully as shiksha gurus for the sampradaya however the founder acharya or original guru of a disciplic succession is appropriately worshiped and respected as the topmost crown jewel of the spiritual masters his perfect philosophical conclusions are to be followed by all in the sampradaya any contrary 
instructions should not be accepted. Uh, as such, there is such a lot as our founder Acharya. So, as such, we accept Srila Prabhupada as our founder Acharya. And he is the Siksha Guru of all the devotees. And thus, he is the Siksha Guru of all the devotees. You would say that he is the foundation of Siksha Guru. You can say that he is the foundational Siksha Guru. And uh, so he also follow Prabhupada's instructions. So we also follow Srila Prabhupada's instructions. We read his books that he translated and engage in devotional service according to his instructions. And we engage we engage in devotional service according to his instructions. So it's very important that we recognize. So it is very important that we recognize how Sri Prabhupada has how Srila Prabhupada has very intimate and personal relationship. Has very intimate and personal relationship with each and every devotee. Every devotee. So every devotee of Iskon of Iskon should attend the regular daily Guru Puja of Prabhupada. Should attend the regular daily Guru Puja of Srila Prabhupada. Should attend the various special programs. Should attend the various special programs. Should attend the various the Srila Prabhupada Vyasa Puja. It is not that only our Diksha Guru is important. Because we receive the mercy from the Guru Parampara. Through A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. As most of you know, for many years, I have also been preaching in South America, where Srila Prabhupada paid only one visit to Caracas, Venezuela, in February of 1975. For one week, Srila Prabhupada gave classes, met with guests, and inspired a whole continent to become Krishna conscious. I too was inspired when I heard Srila Prabhupada say something in his February 21st lecture on Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 1, Text 1. He was talking about how Srila Vyasadeva was presenting the origin of creation as being alive. And then Srila Prabhupada gave a beautiful analogy. So, here it is said that origin is life. Because here it is said, Jato Annayat Itarutasya Artesu Vidyan Sara. Just like if I am taken as the origin of this Krishna consciousness moment, uh, that means I know everything directly and indirectly of all these moments. If I do not know directly and indirectly everything of this moment, then I cannot be called the founder of Jari. <coughs> and as soon as the origin becomes a knower, he is like. Therefore, we should recognize our special relationship with his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Parvama. Therefore, we should recognize the special relationship with A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. 
Get out. Very nice. The seed of devotion. He has given us the seed of devotion. Which is handed down. Which was handed down via the Guru Parampara. In other words, as Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is the origin and knower of all creation, so our founder Acharya, Srila Prabhupada, is the origin and knower of Iskon and the life and soul of all generations of his followers. So, so Baba also adapted his son. Srila Prabhupada also adapted his con spreading Krishna consciousness around the world. For spreading Krishna consciousness around the world. And that is very important that we keep our it's very important that we keep our relationship with Srila Prabhupada very strong and very active. Very strong and very active. Yeah, we accept that all the service we're doing. We accept that all the service that we are doing is meant is according to the instruction of Shabala. Uh, according to the instructions of Srila Prabhupada. Furthermore, whichever Siksha and Diksha Gurus enrich our common identity as followers of Srila Prabhupada, Prabhupada Nugas is also glorious. Deepening the cooperation, we'll need to take Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's mission of Krishna Consciousness to every town and village on earth. Therefore, it's very important that each devotee Therefore, it is very important that each devotee sees how, sees how their relationship with Srila Prabhupada that their relationship with Srila Prabhupada the foundation of as their foundational Shiksha Guru, very it's very important. And uh, to be one of the biggest festivals in the year. And this is one of the biggest festivals in the year. So, this is where we like to express how much we appreciate. So, we have to. Uh, we like to express how much we appreciate what Prabhupada has done for us. What Prabhupada has done for us. Of course, he went around the world so many times. Of course, he went around the world so many times. And spread Krishna consciousness. And spread Krishna consciousness. But he also he came to Mayapur. And he also came to Mayapur. Twice a year, stayed here. Twice a year and stayed here. So he wanted Mayapur to be a special temple. So he wanted Mayapur to be a special temple. A spiritual world headquarters. A spiritual world headquarters. Of Iskon. Iskon Mayapur has launched an initiative to deepen everyone's core identity and foundational relationship with Srila Prabhupada through what is called Prabhupada Experiences. This year, students of all three schools of Mayapur, Sri Mayapur International School, Bhaktivedanta Academy and Bhaktivedanta National School participated in a competition after studying the introduction and first chapter of Srila Prabhupada's abridged biography, Your Ever Well Wisher, with about 200 students who had enrolled from age 12 to 19. There are competitions planned in the near future for other members of the community. There are other events planned too to bring Srila Prabhupada's disciples 
to share their experiences with Srila Prabhupada. Overall, the idea is to increase our absorption in the memories of Srila Prabhupada and carry out our life in Krishna consciousness with enthusiasm through the inspiration that such Prabhupada experiences brings and help others in the outside world also take up to Krishna consciousness by being inspired through Srila Prabhupada's life. Uh, you are, I hope and the Lord is Mayapur. So we hope the devotees in Mayapur will take this as their special commitment to be the most Krishna conscious, Srila Prabhupada conscious in the whole world. We would like that. We would like that at least. But uh, we hope that everybody in the world. We hope that everybody in the world would also be fully Krishna conscious. Would also be fully Krishna conscious. And Prabhupada conscious. And Prabhupada conscious. So everybody has got their thoughts on. Personal Every devotee has their special realization. And we want that devotees realizations. And we want the devotees realization should be shared. Should be shared. And that devotees in the Krishna movement. And the devotees in Krishna conscious movement. Will appreciate the Divine Grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and all our previous Acharyas. And in this way, we preserve the Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. I request all of my disciples and other members of the community. To participate and help in this. I hope that disciples and other devotees in various parts of the world would take up such initiatives in their local centers.